treating us like mature adults who can make decisions for ourselves. They're treating like children who need the state to regulate our lives uh, and to basically know better than we do about what we put in our mouths and what we choose to do. And it's that policing of public spaces. As I said, I'm not a smoker, but it's that policing of public spaces in general that I think is very important to impose. It's not just smoking, it's also drinking in public spaces. But, you know, a lot of places you can't even have a glass of wine in a, uh, in a park. It's also about leafleting. In increasingly, you can't even hand out leaflets. You know, there are places all across the country now where actually handing out a flyer to people is now banned unless you get permission from the council first and pay quite a lot of money to do it. It's about the state continually intruding upon public spaces and interfering in our private lives. We're adults. We don't need the state to do this for us. We can decide uh, on these kind of issues. We don't need them to do so. We do not need to be treated like What's children. Going on every What's time going on CCTV is watching us, every time another liberty like this gets taken away, we become less free. It's very important that we say enough is enough and that we oppose this and make a lot of noise about it. So we need to go out. We need to go out today and really spread the words. Stony Stratford, uh, we need to make sure that basically any politician out there, and I understand there are other councils who are now not realising that, you know, uh, Paul Bartlett is borderline OCD, you know, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he's done bizarre things in the past, like, you know, proposed testing the DNA of dog poo to try and trust uh, the uh, 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 true. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they, they don't realise that. They see this is the way the wind is blowing. Uh, so other councils think, well, that's a good idea. So it's really important that even though this is about one individual, it may not go through on Tuesday. We draw a line in the sand here and say enough is enough. So we send a message out to every politician in this country that we will not tolerate this trend anymore and that it's time to start to really get out of the